right, babies, it's that time again. Oh, yeah. This is my last day, hopefully, driving in the morning cold because the car is getting a temporary heat set up while we're waiting for a rare part from L.A. to show up. Oh, yeah, baby. Just like that. I'm also suffering from a some kind of ailment in my right shoulder. I must have slept on it wrong or something, but I can barely <clears throat> move around, grab my coffee cup, that type of thing. So we have a little challenge going on there. So I've wanted to let you know that in spite of all those things, we are still praising the king. How could we do otherwise? And you know what? This reminds me of so many times in my life where, you know, I was just not operating in ideal circumstances. You know, finance problems and relationship problems, job problems, physical problems, all happening all at once, right? But it, it never kept me from finding a place in the Lord of peace. Oh yeah. In fact, I might even say it was easier to find peace in those moments because all hell is breaking loose. So you're, you're like, your entire psyche and soul are outstretched to the Lord. And he's like, yeah, baby, I got you. It's like, oh, yes, you do. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for your love. Oh, my God. Thank you for your love. Yeah, that's the peace that passes all understanding, honey. Oh, yeah. So, be encouraged, sweethearts. Whatever you're going through, find a new level in the Lord and he will meet you there. Oh yeah. And he will keep you there as long as you nurture it like a, a like a well tended to garden. I can't think of the right term. Oh yeah, baby. Because you are that garden for all the fruits of God to come forth. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I may just have to pull over. I don't think I'm fit to drive. Hello. <laughs> God is good. I'm showing up at this uh, training for educators today with only a v-neck t-shirt on because I, I usually put on like a, a second layer that's usually a, a complementary color so kind of an offsetting color so I usually look kind of sharp but instead I'm going to look like you know I'm uh, pulling up at the local bar ordering a hoagie <laughs> oh wow <laughs> such is life and so even something like that, I can deal with in a way to advance my spirituality because instead of being all worried about, oh, what are they gonna think of me? And then mad at myself. Why didn't you grab your your second shirt? What are you stupid? And, and then you're, you show up and you're, all you're thinking about is, oh my God, I can't believe I'm sitting here and with a t-shirt. <laughs> Instead, I'm just going to be like, let the light of God shine. Hallelujah. <laughs> and he will. He will. God does have a sense of humor. 
You wouldn't think it with all of the craziness in the world. You'd be like, oh my gosh, this is some this is some austere God we serve. No. He's passionate about being with you and being one with you. And guess what? Because he's the creator, he's also funny. <laughs> Hello, funny God. Oh yeah, he's like Mel Brooks. Come on. Woody Allen. Richard Pryor. George Carlin. Oh yeah, he can do it all. <laughs> uh. In fact, you know, irony is like a big part of God. Um, so it's not necessarily ha-ha, knee slapper stuff. Although, you know, we can have those moments. But <clears throat> it's, you know, because paradoxes are imbued in all of his workings, there's a strong... strain of irony that goes through practically everything he does look at the the cross itself by man's standards up oh, failed messiahship he was killed no on the other hand that was the crowning moment of all life and through that submissive gesture, every human being in the world can have access to the beauty of God. Oh, yeah. Or look at the Bible. You know, people swear up one side and down the other that it's the perfect word of God. And God's just like, um, I'm not genocidal. I'm not homophobic. I'm not misogynistic. I'm not patriarchal, I'm not toxic, uh, I'm not vengeful, I don't condone slavery or rape, um, and I'm not in favor of uh, whimsical murders. So yeah, I'm not really sure how people are thinking this is me. <laughs> if it wasn't for the verses in there that, that reflect what I teach on, and what people are transformed by, we would have just given up on God completely. And be like, no, nope, no evidence of God, no. But thankfully, there is love, peace, joy, understanding, wisdom, creativity, adventurousness, childlikeness, beauty, and all the things that we observe in the world of color and patterns and and um, cycles and just so much complexity that you can see in, in macro systems and then in micro systems it's just amazing it's all God's beautiful design and, 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 the, and the most glorious creation is Christ in us. Oh yeah, baby. That's how you have to live your life. If you want to be free and you want to have all that God has for you, you need to receive his mindset, which is this, the self-knowledge that he's done everything imaginable to get us to be in unending intimacy with him so that just by reasoning alone you would know that you are the apple of his eye you are his crowning achievement you are his most glorious joy and pleasure because we complete him oh yeah babe.